Hi, it's Vico. She show you how to fix a keyboard. So this keyboard, the space bar wasn't working. You write out, right wing Windows button, right function button, and the right control button. This is a docky keyboard, docky PCBs. I, I was working on it. I was soldering the switches. And this was my first time doing it, so and then I fucked it up. But now I, I'm trying to fix it. So the problem started here on spacebar. So I took the right leg, as you can see there. I jumped it on the left out that was working already. Jump it to space, on the right leg. Not all the keyboards will be the same. I have another keyboard that I was working with. That it was a hot swappable PCB, the DZ60 PCB. And it was different. The left leg was the one that you have to jump on the other switches. And this keyboard, if you, the left switch, you lifted a pad or something, you have to jump it. Like, uh, for example, uh, this one. This uh, left pad. If it's the left pad, you have to jump it into this this dial this is d30 you have to uh, jump it on the top of the d30 dial and you will have it working but if it's the right leg you have to jump it to another switch like i did so this one which, uh, this is some normal uh wire both wire i don't have cable so i'm using this using core solder you can use a cable it's a safer but if you're using a wire and you don't have cables like I do, then you have to make sure that it's not contacting another another thing like this. If you do this, I'll give this one. Try to not make contact with the dial. I put it in the middle. That's not making contact. I pref I, I recommend to use cables, but I don't have any so. Uh, the out are windows and all of these keys are working they didn't work because the space bar didn't have the pad but i made it outside the pcb so now it's working so now i'll have to work the backspace key that is not working because i lifted a pad so it's not working the backspace my working plus button and the minus button. I'm gonna fix it right now and I'll be back. But as you can see, before I work on backspace, because the keys, backspace keys working. And these four buttons are working. working. function in the CTRL I'll connect to now the backspace not working I'll be back so letter uh, zero I mean letter <laughs> number zero As you can see it works but plus minus Bath space are not working, so you have to take wire and put it on the other on the left one. I'll check it to see if that fixes it. Okay, so now as you can see from the right one, I drew from the working button to the other button, and now we have the minus button working. This one wasn't because I haven't put the cable yet. I'll be back. To the plus button, I drew another cable. A Cooper wire or whatever. And it's not working because from the diode strip from the left side. 
So what you need to do is you have to throw a wire from the left side to the top of the wire. Uh, let's see I can record this. So I don't have equipment to do this. Press it there in the dial and then you solder. And solder it. Now let me connect it back. Should be working once I connect it. Now I can find the USB. Oh wait, there it is. Because both paths were stripped, and now the last one, the back space. Let me see. Let's draw a little. From the right side to the right side uh, and you cut remember I'm doing this because I don't have any cables and time to solder to the other side. is completely fixed. It's, uh, no, it's, it's not that hard and do it. So connections. Remember if you draw a cable and it's not working you have to jump this the left side on the ducky one mini is the left side and almost all the other keyboards is the right one. button that was damaged now it's working so this is my first video like comment and subscribe if you have any questions you can comment and it can help you out <laughs> 